Hey, what's up, Street Talks? The Eric from the Eric from Street Photography Gone. So, I want to show you guys one of my new favorite books that, of course, I'm biased because we made it together, is Create It Every Day, An Eternal Return. So, the basic concept is me, Cindy, my sister Annette, and also our sister Jennifer, we got together in a tiny little Airbnb in Kyoto for a week, and we just cranked out this book. And it's a culmination of all this inspirational power and ideas combining three things. One, photography, two, drawing and illustration, and three, writing. I think if you want to become a great photographer or a great visual artist, kind of become a renaissance person like Leonardo da Vinci where you're not just a good photographer, but you know how to draw, you know how to paint, you understand engineering, photography, and all the different types of art. This is a custom illustration that my sister Annette made from scratch using Illustrator. She drew every single line, did every little shading, and she didn't just copy and paste this. So this is the Vitruvian camera, an ideal version of the ideal camera. Also, available as a t-shirt in the Haptic store, hapticindustries.com. We'll include a link below where you can pick up this dope ass shirt. But anyways, I'll talk a little bit about the photography section today. So the quote is from Ansel Adams. You don't take a photograph, you make it. The reason why I love this composition, uh, this concept is that when you say you're gonna take a photograph, it implies you're stealing somebody's soul or you're kind of doing a bad thing. But when you're making a photograph, you're much more active, you're much more creative, you're much more contributing something to society and art. And one of the most important things in photography is to know why you make photographs. So for me, the reason why I want to make photos is to not only find more joy and happiness in my own personal life, but to make images which inspire other people to love life even more. And there's so many different photography assignments in Creative Every Day. One of them is Honor Thy Selfie. A lot of us are uncomfortable photographing other people because we're uncomfortable the way we look. So one simple photography exercise you guys could do is shoot selfies of yourself and start to feel comfortable photographing yourself or even paying somebody else to shoot your portrait. And you don't have to share these pictures with anybody else. The great thing with Creative Every Day as well, there's lots of blank space for you in the book to write and reflect on why you make pictures, for whom you make photos, and other assignments for you to stay inspired. One of the assignments we have in the book is this concept of the photography quest. And what I love about this idea is, I think it's hard for all of us to stay inspired in our photography. And even myself, you know, there's days that I just don't want to leave the apartment, I'm just not feeling it. But I think specific photography assignments, and I like this idea of a quest, it's kind of like Adventure Time, or the Lego movie. Everything is awesome, everything is cool when you're part of a team and you want to just kind of go out and just live life. So practical photography assignments that you guys could practice today is only shoot colors, so photograph the rainbow. Only shoot JPEG because JPEG tends to make more colorful images. Only shoot what's colorful, maybe you could focus on a very limited color palette, only shoot the color red for an entire day, only shoot the color blue for an entire day, only shoot the color yellow for an entire day. Another technique is to embrace very dynamic angles and perspectives. So only shoot super low angle shots of you looking up. So all the photographs you had to shoot have to be crouched down. Get really low until you can feel it burning in your thighs or even use the LCD screen in your camera to put the camera next to the ground and shoot up. Or from a super high angle shooting down. Shoot textures, shoot a portrait of somebody only using the front facing camera of your phone. Shoot urban landscapes without people. You could try a different photography genre that you're uncomfortable with. So if you're more into street photography, perhaps try to shoot fashion photography or nature photography. And you could try the decapitation technique, which is only photographing hands. Go out and make your own photo book, make your own photo album. Blurb.com, one of the best options you guys could try to do is make the magazines, which is only about $10 a pop. And you know, print your pictures and give them away to your friends and family and spark joy in the lives of others. And a good uh, quote you guys could try in your photography is, if your pictures aren't good enough, you're not close enough, Robert Kappa. 
So not only getting physically closer to your subjects, but getting emotionally closer to the subjects. And also, if you don't want to pick up uh, a paper version of it, because, you know, I know some of us you know, are mobile and we want something that's a little bit more on the go. So Cindy made the digital edition of Creative Every Day. And so let's say you're commuting to work, you could pick up this uh, PDF edition and uh, Cindy will scroll through it, I'll make it a little bit darker. So one thing I love about the PDF version is that obviously it's better to have the print edition because you're able to inspire yourself by writing it down. But the great thing about the, the PDF edition is that it's much more cheaper, it's more accessible, it's smaller, it could fit in your phone. And so if you're just bored during your commute, if you're bored during your, your lunch break, rather than just scrolling through Instagram, I would recommend you guys to scroll through the mobile edition of Create Every Day. And the great thing with Create Every Day is that it will continue to help support open source information. It will help support our sisters. And it's one of those things that the phone is also one of the best tools to use to make photographs. And there's lots of great assignments, quick tips, and uh, assignments on to learn how to draw and write. So highly, highly, highly recommend you guys to check out and pick up a copy of Creative Every Day, either a digital edition or what I personally love, this beautiful print edition. And also the cover is just beautiful. Like I'm holding this in my hands and isn't that such a beautiful cover? And we also put little silver foil so it just pops out you in all the colors. The entire cover was all hand drawn by my sister Annette. These aren't just copy and pasted vectors. She literally drew every single line in Adobe Illustrator. So if you look really, really closely at the details, you could see each precise, deliberate line and all the different vibrant colors. So you deserve, you deserve to be creative every day. Do it for yourself or if you know somebody who's creative or artistic but lacking inspiration, it would make a great gift. Pick up a copy of Creative Every Day and hapticindustries.com or the link below. And I encourage you guys to make, play, learn more about yourself, and be inspired every day, all day, today, tomorrow. No more excuses. Buy it and stay inspired.